All right, so maybe you get to this video and you're like, all right, I'm kind of understanding. I get pi's, right? Pi radians. Okay, I can kind of do it in terms of pi. And I kind of understand degrees. I can move from degrees to degrees. But then how do I do radians when I just have a number? That doesn't make sense. So let's look at, again, a reminder of what a radian is. So remember, a radian is going to be our distance of our circle. Like, let's say a radian. All right, so the distance of our radius, let's say we had an imaginary circle, right? So our circle has a radius right there, which we call r, okay? So remember, our radian is going to be taking that radius and wrapping it around our circle. So it's going to look something like one. So this distance would be one radian, two radians, three radians, right? So that's one radian two radians, three radians, halfway around a circle is 3.14159 dot, 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 dot radians, right? But then the next one would be four radians, five radians. And what, ladies and gentlemen, you should notice now is that four radians, yeah, I don't know where it exactly is. All right, it's going to be ha roughly around halfway. But if I ask you, oh, right there, right? If I ask you to graph four radians, you should just know, oh, one radian, two radian, three radians. OK, it's going to be roughly in this area, four radians, roughly between pi and three pi over two. Um, very close to there. But you can see that's in your direction. It's in quadrant three. And that's how you graph whole, uh, whole numbers in terms of radians. Hope you enjoyed. Question or comments, let below. Thanks.